everyone, Carrie here with Geek Mom Makeup Reviews. Um, I'm going to be filming this first video for the channel and I figured I would do a foundation that I really enjoy and um, I don't think has a lot of traction in the market yet so I'm hoping that my review for it can kind of help um, get it out there a little bit. As you can see I have discoloration in my cheeks, around my nose, I have some texture around my eyebrows and usually around my temples where foundation kind of struggles a little bit. My chin's a little bit red, so. Um, the foundation I'm going to be using today is Jennifer Bradley. It's called 4-in-1 Camera Ready Foundation. It has SPF in it to protect your skin. Um, and this little tub lasts a really long time. I've been using it for a couple months now and hardly any gone. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. This is not going to be very professional because I'm not used to doing this. My son really wants me to do this, so I'm going to make a video. I'm put my hair back. I've already, um, moisturized and primed my face for moisturizer today. I used... This product, it's called No BS, and it's got, it's a day and night hyaluronic cream with jojoba oil, apricot oil, and hyaluronic acid. It's lovely. It's almost gone. Make me sad. I also used this amazing stuff that I found uh, called I Do Care Glow Key, and it's to brighten around my eyes. Um, also moisturize a little bit more since... I'm 38 and I'm starting to get, you know, puffy and dry. And then I also primed my face using NYX uh, Hydra Touch Primer. It's very lightweight. It feels really nice on my skin. Basically just like another extra layer of hydration because, again, 38, dry skin. Woo! Alright, so if you see, I'm barely touching this. There's hardly any product on there and it will really cover a lot with just that little swipe. So like I'm going to do my whole forehead and as you can see as I go along it really just takes the redness out and that's something um, that the owner, her name is Jennifer Bradley, go figure, because this is Jennifer Bradley's foundation. Um, she claims that there's a redness relieving product or uh, ingredient in the foundation so I don't know if it relieves redness so much as it just kind of covers redness very quickly I mean if you see that's just a very quick thin layer I went all over my eyelids to kind of prime them for when I do my eyeshadow um, but very very little product is needed to take down the redness with this. And I like that um, it has my SPF built into it so I don't have to add anything else besides my skincare and my primer and on my foundation. And on the days that I don't want to really have to play with makeup or I don't have time, because actually I really do like playing with makeup, so there's not really a day that I don't want to play with makeup. So the days that I just don't have time for it, I guess would be a better. This is especially a good foundation for that because I can uh, simply put it on my face, rub it in. And I mean, you could see my chin went from super red. I wish I had better lighting in here, but. So yeah, you just kind of Swipe it on until you've got your desired coverage. And again, I am barely, barely touching it. And it comes off on the brush very lightly. And then you just kind of swipe it on. Um, I've watched a lot of her videos. She's got one in particular for this foundation where she just did a chemical peel and her skin is inflamed and angry. And very quickly, this foundation covers the redness. Again, I'm not going to say it takes down the redness because I don't know that 
I mean, from experience, I've used this quite a few times. I use other foundations too. I don't excuse exclusively use this, um, but it covers redness very well. It covers discoloration very well. It does it quickly. It does it with very minimal product. Does it take away the redness like she claims? I don't think so because like I've not noticed that my skin it has less redness after I take it off um, and I've worn it a couple days in a row at times or even like a week or two at a time and again I don't think it actually takes down the redness I think it just covers it very very well I'm gonna take it down your neck onto your ears not just for the sun protection but just for you know coverage down my neck, down my double chin that I love so much. Haha, <laughs> sarcasm. But yeah, so. Oh god, look at how wrinkly my forehead is. <laughs> so yeah, you can see the discoloration that I pointed out at the beginning. The redness, it's kind of taken down. I mean, you can still see my skin. That's partly why I like this foundation, is because, um,. My face still looks like skin. It doesn't look like foundation. If you can see. Again, I wish I had better lighting in here. You can see that redness that was there. Not so prominent. And I'll usually use a sponge to go over this. Even though she doesn't recommend it. She says she hates sponges and thinks they're dirty. But yeah, like I clean my stuff, so... Um, while I like her product, I'm not a huge fan of hers. I think she's got a bit of a problem with criticism coming from her customers and just in general. Um, she seems to be a little bit too sensitive for somebody who is in the public eye. Um, sorry Jennifer, I really like your product, but like, sometimes your rants on her page are a little bit excessive. So yeah, while... I do enjoy her product. I'm not a huge fan of the way she handles herself publicly in terms of dealing with criticism. She seems to think people have a vendetta against her, like especially with the coronavirus. She seems to think people are out to get her and are trying to shut her business down. And the mask thing, she seems to be one of those anti-maskers, which you know, to each your own, whatever. But if you're going to be a businesswoman, you got to have a thicker skin and realize that it's not all about you and just try to keep your personal life separate from your business life because otherwise you're going to turn off people like me who really, really like your product but probably won't try more because you go on rants on Facebook that are like, okay, lady. So anyway, I am enjoying the amount of coverage that's giving me. It looks very nice. It looks very skin-like. It doesn't look super dewy or anything. It looks very, she claims it's a, I think like a dewy powder finish, which is <laughs> contradictory in and of itself, but you know. Um, so yeah, there's that. And I really... I really enjoy this foundation. I really enjoy how long it lasts. She claims it lasts like 12 hours or something. I don't know that I would say that. Because um, after about 8 hours, I start to see some separation, especially around my nose. Because I'm always like, because of allergies. Um, but yeah, that's Jennifer Bradley. Let me put the... Let's see. Jennifer Bradley's... 4-in-1 Camera Ready Foundation. I got a shade match in 4. That's the other thing I really like about her company. Um, you can message their page or email them a picture of your face. They'll, they'll want like a front view, two side views. And they guarantee their match. So if they send you a match um, that is not your match. So say, you know, I'm, I got matched as a shade 4. And I actually, I think that's really pretty good. Um, if they matched me with like a 3 or a 5 and I got it and it was too light or too dark, they will replace it for free and send it to you for free. Um, and they don't even require you to send the used one back. So 
Uh, I will say that is excellent customer service. Um, I think she's doing very, very good in that respect. Um, you know, if they're going to uh, back their product in terms of, you know, we want to match you, that's good. So um, I really think that's awesome. I'm going to show you. I usually will go over with a damp beauty sponge. I'm not going to say beauty blender because it's not a beauty blender. I'm not spending that kind of money on a sponge. Um, so yeah, this one's one I got on Amazon that I really like. It's super soft. Um, I could probably link it down below if you're interested. Um, my son will probably tell me that I have to do that. But I just kind of go over the top with the damp beauty blender, even though she doesn't recommend this. I like the finish because it just kind of gives a little bit more of a seamless look. Like, I like applying foundation with a, a brush, but then I like going over the top of it with a beauty blender, beauty sponge. Um, just to kind of even it out, make it look more natural. See? This gives that a little something extra. Gosh, I need concealer under my eyes. Now she says one of the four-in-one parts of the, uh, in one foundation is that you can use it as a concealer. I've tried it. Like I, I spot treat with um, my fingers. I don't enjoy it for that. I enjoy it for an all over coverage. I enjoy it to like go down my neck. Um, I enjoy, you know, just in general, you know, I, you just, you can't beat shark, uh, sh shape tape by tart. Um, it's the best. And it, I, I reach for this all the time. It's the best. Even with, you know, other foundations that claim that they're doing, you know, double duty like this 4-in-1 foundation. Um, I just don't enjoy it. I don't feel like it gives me the coverage that I get from Shape Tape. Or even, um, there's another one that I really like. Let's see. And again, hopefully my son can edit some of this out. Where is it? Oh, um, the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. Um, that one's a little bit yellow for me. I need to actually get a different shade, but I really like how um, it's a serum uh, concealer, so it really keeps my under eyes hydrated, which, again, 38-year-old skin needs lots of hydration, lots of moisturizer. So, anyway, that's the finished... Jennifer Bradley on my face. Remember at the beginning I had a lot of redness to correct. I feel like it did a great job with that. Toned everything down, made everything kind of blend, blurred some things. It's not crazy, like it's not, you know, be all end all, but I will say for a quick foundation, um, you know, apply it with a brush real quick. I go over it with the top with a, with a sponge just to kind of make it look seamless. I really enjoy the coverage. It does last at least eight hours for me. Um, again, I don't know if her uh, a claim of 12 hours is really quite, you know, legit. But so, yeah, that is uh, me. M makeup mom. <laughs> mom geek makeup reviews. Um, I hope to do some more of this. If you guys enjoy my video, subscribe like my video and we'll see if I can do some more. Um, maybe I can do some uh, eyeshadow stuff, maybe some, you know, other stuff, highlight and stuff like that. So yeah, Jennifer Bradley 4-in-1 Foundation. I think her her uh, website is jenniferbradley.com. Pretty simple. Um, again, just ignore her rants and raves on Facebook and you can get yourself a nice foundation that really will take care of you when you're in a rush. And if you want to like build other products on top of it, I found that's really nice too. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching. I <laughs> uh, hope to see you again. Bye. Just a quick update. I wanted you to be able to see the foundation in the daylight outside. Well, it's it's kind of hard to see with the, but it's, again, it's very natural looking very pretty bye okay so this is an update on the wear of this during corona time you can see my mask took off some from my nose but really I was sweating in the store because it's hot it's like 90 degrees in New York right now 
it's not too bad. Like the wear is still there on my cheeks. I'm not too red. But yeah, my nose really suffered because of my mask, so. Not bad though. <laughs>